Hi friends and welcome back to another episode in this Amazon Lily Let's Play series. Terraforming is one of my least favorite things to do in Animal Crossing. I just find it very tedious uh, and I don't think I'm very good at it. But unfortunately we have to do a lot of it for this island. So let's take a look at the map and kind of talk about what we're going to do today. Um, in order to build the town in the center of the island, I want to have the terraforming done so I know exactly the size of the space that I'm working with. We're going to try and build a ring of cliffs and then a ring of cliffs on top of that ring just to make it feel like the town is in the center of all the cliffs just like how it is in Amazon Lily in One Piece. Do -do 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 -do. I love the rain in Animal Crossing and that's why I have decided to play while it's raining because I want to make this as painless as possible because I know I'm gonna have a hard time. I am too lazy to make a bunch of food and move all these trees so we're just gonna chop them down. I have a general idea of how I want the cliffs to look and be shaped so we're gonna just try and get rid of everything that might be in the way and that way we have like extra space to work with in case we need to change things up. I've honestly been putting off this video also just because I don't really know what to like talk about while I'm chopping trees and doing all this terraforming. I was brainstorming with my partner and they suggested that I like talk about One Piece which you know would make sense logically because like this is kind of a One Piece fan channel slash also Animal Crossing slash I don't really know what the theme is to be honest we just like do whatever here and it's fun and it's great because current One Piece has been kind of super hype. Everything going on at Egghead, like the Gorosei just got summoned to Egghead which is super wild. Anyways, but I thought like maybe we could just talk about my life. Like do you think that would be okay? I feel like I haven't really talked much about myself um, and I want you guys to like know who I am because you watch my videos and that's super cool of you and like I just you know, friends are cool, right? Friends friends are cool. Friends are cool. So, like, if you guys would rather hear about One Piece and stuff, that's totally fine. You should just, like, let me know and I will happily talk about One Piece. Um, but otherwise, I kind of just want this to be a chill channel. Like, chill, casual, we make fan recreations of stuff and talk about life and how things are going and all that cool stuff. I don't really think I did like a proper introduction of myself either when I first started this channel, which probably like I should have done. So hi, <laughs> you can call me Koala. It's nice to meet you. Hajime mashite. Um, a little bit about myself. I went to college for music education and performance. I played the oboe. Super cool. So of course I love music. I'm super into it. My favorite genre currently is K-pop, of course. Um, I'm also learning Mandarin Chinese as like a hobby uh, and also sort of Japanese as well so that's fun. I just I really like learning languages. I don't really have anyone to like practice talking to in real life so that kind of makes it hard because I'm just like learning words and I feel like I can understand things pretty okay at this point like basic elementary stuff but speaking and like being able to recall words and stuff is definitely a challenge. Other things I like to do, uh, I like to do singing. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sing on this channel. I'm a little bit shy. I do struggle with like social anxiety so that's why I have Koala as my name and not like my real name or anything but I do still like making friends. So I was kind of hoping this channel would be a good way to like build up a small community of people that like the things I also like. Cause that'd be pretty cool. As far as playing video games go, I play a variety of video games actually. I definitely love like the cozy vibes, but I also play like Valorant and League of Legends and I also do like classic cozy games like Stardew Valley and Minecraft. Bay Farm is super fun as well. As far as Valorant and League go, because those are like very different from Animal Crossing, um, as far as playing like League of Legends goes, I really enjoy playing ADC in the bot lane. I just have a lot of fun with like clicking on things and watching them go poof. I also like collecting all the little minions to make lots of money. 
lately I've been playing like a lot of Spike Rush in Valorant. I don't really play like unrated or competitive. I get like, <laughs> I get way too stressed when I play a game that is longer like that. I've been trying to like be better about using voice chat in Valorant. When I first started playing Valorant, it was like definitely not an amazing space for women in voice chat. Um, you get like targeted a lot and it was very stressful and like not fun to play. So, but I think Riot has been doing a good job like taking steps to make it a safer space for everybody. So I'm trying to use like voice chat more again. I mentioned earlier like I'm a bit socially anxious, so it's definitely hard for me to like put myself out there just like I'm doing now with this video. Although like recording and editing is definitely very different from like talking to someone in real time like in a game. Right because here like I can be a bit more careful about what I say, what I want to like present. But when you're just playing a game it can be a little scarier like talking real time. I was playing Spike Rush a couple days ago and there was this really nice girl in my game that was like she said hi in voice chat and then she said something in japanese so then i responded in japanese because i know just like a tiny little bit and uh she actually ended up being super super nice and we talked the whole game turns out she's a freaking voice actress and she does a really good brimstone impersonation or impression and i was just like kind of blown away I think voice actors are super, super cool, especially like coming from a music background. Um, I think voice acting is just really impressive. It's a hard thing to do uh, and it's not very common either. And it turns out she's also a streamer on like Twitch. So I was able to like join her community and stuff and they're all super nice. So like, I'm hoping that maybe I can make some friends. I don't know. I'm just gonna try and stick around and see like what happens. Why why can't I hit this balloon? This is so embarrassing. Oh, there we go. Anyways, I don't know. I just like I've been trying to talk in voice chat more in Valorant because I wanna like make some online friends, but then like I meet nice people in Spike Rush and I'm like getting friend requests and whatnot, and I'm not accepting the friend requests. So I get too nervous. But it was so cool to like meet this voice actress and like find her community and like she's got a discord and everything and everyone is so nice and it's such like a safe inclusive space like that she has built up so it's been really fun like trying to figure all that stuff out just like this voice actress i've met recently i'd love to like build up my own community that's a safe and inclusive space and has nice people and i know that process is like it takes a while, right? You can't expect to like build a community overnight or whatever, which is fine. I'm willing to like stick around and put in the work. And I think video editing is pretty fun. I'm definitely enjoying it. And like every video I put out, I learn new things, which is awesome. I love learning. I've been thinking to myself so much lately, like what do I want this YouTube channel to be like, right? Because I'm in my infancy right now. <laughs> I don't like the water terraforming, sorry. So like my YouTube channel is in its infancy still, right? I really like don't have much branding. Um, I'm doing like Animal Crossing in One Piece, but like, do I only want to do Animal Crossing in One Piece? Do I want to post video game content from other platforms? Do I want to try streaming? Do I want to like, like what kind of video editing style do I want to do? You know, there's so many different styles out there. Like I have to find my own. So I've been kind of doing a lot of like self-searching and thinking about what I want to do with this channel. I mean, I don't even know if it's going to stay as like Koala Cove because I do have a different username that I use for like pretty much all my other platforms. And I've been debating like, should I just change it to what that username is and like kind of rebrand myself a little bit? I don't know. I think it's a lot to think about and I just need to spend more time like figuring out what I want, what my goals are. I think the simplest thing to say for now is just that I'm gonna keep making videos, right? Like keep learning how to do video editing, keep working on my Animal Crossing island, keep watching One Piece, just like keep doing what I'm doing and eventually I'll be able to figure it out. I mean, that's life, right? We go through life and we figure it out as we go. Sorry, this is getting like weirdly philosophical. I am rambling probably way too much. We're gonna hang some vines here temporarily just to like 
get to the other side of these cliffs because now I have to run all the way around. Like obviously we'll build out the cliffs back here eventually because we need to add a second layer on top of these cliffs. But I think for right now we just want to get the base shape of the mountains. Okay, this is feeling pretty good. I am happy with how this cliff shape is forming. It always feels better to have like full sections of the island done. I like doing that more than just having like sporadic areas of the island being done. That like stresses me out a little bit. I don't know how other people do that. So I think I'm gonna call this done. I think we're just gonna be done with the video for today. This was a lot of terraforming. This took me about like an hour to do in total. So I think I just need a break from Animal Crossing. I'm gonna go play Spike Rush. But yeah, this is what the final cliffside looks like for now. Obviously we're gonna go back through and like decorate and add like waterscaping and we need to add that second layer of cliffs at some point. But for right now, I think this is a really good start to what we need to accomplish. I mean, this whole section is just like done and ready, which makes me feel good, makes me feel motivated. So I think we're just gonna end it off here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different than like the usual, let's talk one piece sort of deal. Also, I did go back through and add like a bunch of more mushrooms into this area. So I hope it looks a little better. Anyways, thank you so, so much again for being here. I really appreciate all of your support. I'm like really bad at asking people to like the video and subscribe to my channel, but um, I see all the other content creators doing it. So I think I'm supposed to. <laughs> so thank you guys for being here. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Gently, we like to be kind. Stay happy, stay healthy. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.